So in this one, we're gonna do something that you might end up doing a lot, and that is using stuff from settings.py. Um, the settings being like our length of our short code. Right now we set it, we put a default and set it here, uh, but we also did that in our utility function. So we use, we might use this length in many different places. So we actually wanna put it on our settings.py and have an attribute in here that actually has that specific setting. So go ahead and open up settings.py and at the very bottom, we're gonna write out short code max equals to, well, we set the max in models.py as in the max length of it to 15. So we'll just put 15 here and then we'll do short code underscore min equals to six because that's what we put inside of our utility function as the default size. So now that I have these, I can actually go into my models and I'm gonna change this size right here. To do this, I have to first off import the Django configuration settings. So django.conf import settings. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll say shortcode, um, let's capitalize it again. So shortcode max is equal to settings well actually we want to equal it we can equal it to settings dot short code max we totally could do that but what if we reused this app that is we put this app somewhere else and we forget to put our settings in there we forget to actually declare this to, so what we can do instead is do get attribute settings so inside of settings we can look for the string of short code max and if that doesn't exist we can set our own there so this is how we're actually going to set that short code max instead of just writing it in as a default. So this is good for reusable applications. That's the main thing here is because it's looking for a settings attribute. If it is in there, then it's gonna go off of that. If it's not, it's gonna go off of something different. So we're gonna copy that and just paste it in here on our short code max. That's gonna change depending on what we put in our settings or what we put as the default. For us, the default is gonna stay as 15. Well, the same idea I wanna bring over to my utility function. So inside of utils.py, I'm gonna just pretty much copy that exact same thing, but instead of shortcode max, we're gonna do shortcode min. So in here, just change this to min, and this to min, and then this to just six. And now I can just come in here and replace those throughout. Okay, so the reason I use them in all caps is it's going off of how Django's default settings. So I'm using that based off of what the core developers did. So I'm gonna assume that that is best practices for settings.py. It is best practices for settings.py, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that. Now, that's intuitively what I do when I write this code. I, I look at what the core developers did and I'm gonna go off of what they did to make sure that I'm doing best practices. So now that I've done this and I've made changes to models.py, I'm gonna come in here into terminal and I'm gonna do python manage.py or manage.py make migrations, no changes detected. The reason no changes detected is because this short code max is still going off of that default. Um, so I could change the default value in settings. Say I wanted, now I want it to be 10 and the min to be four. We save that and we can now make those migrations and notice it does actually change it. So I do python manage.py and migrate. All right, so we now have a newer concept that is using attributes or configuration inside of our settings so we can make our app more usable. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. I promise this part is important for what we're about to do, but I wanted to make sure that you also saw this default thing because you will see this if you look at other people's code, you will see this stuff eventually versus just writing out, because like I said before, you could have just wrote it as settings.shortcode max. And this is 100% okay. Line nine is 100% okay if you don't plan to reuse the app. That is, if you just planned to, to go off of your own app here, you're not planning on making reusable apps at all. But in the case that most of you might end up actually bringing this short code app into another app, you would wanna set it like this, or excuse me, into another project. This is how you'd wanna set it. 
And when I say bring it into another project, I literally mean copying this folder and bring it into another Django project, like try Django 1.9 or 1.8 or e-commerce 2 or something like that. This is, this is how you would want to have it set up. So then it's in here as well. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.